this is really about the fact of you know getting off substance, getting away from drugs um, and alcohol, and then feeling lost, feeling empty, feeling like I guess like there's a part of you that doesn't want to be here anymore, um, which is something I experienced as well. And for me personally, this was because prior to using drugs, I had no idea who I was. I wasn't very sure of myself. And so I turned to drugs because I didn't find my place in the community until I used drugs. Legends, welcome to another solo episode of the Interchange Podcast. And today I have one that was requested by one of my good friends. I actually caught up with this guy. I actually met him, sorry, for the first time in Croatia last year when me and my best mate Pili were on our road trip or road trip on our Euro trip. Uh, and we've always just stayed in contact since. So shout out to Bryn for this one. I think this is actually going to bring a lot of value for a lot of people um, because this is something that I used to struggle with as well. But before we go into that, I do have a very small favor to ask. And that is if you haven't already and you've been enjoying the content, please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share this with one of your friends because the more people that we can get watching this podcast, the more subscribers I get, the more uh, attention we can get on it the bigger and better guests I'm going to be able to bring for you guys and the more value I'm going to be able to deliver. So please just do me that small favor uh, that small favor to help me to grow this platform, to help to bring more for you guys because that's what this is all about. But anyways, back to what Bryn requested. So uh, I hope he's okay with me sharing this part of his story, but Bryn has been struggling with substance himself for a little while and um, has recently cleaned himself up and gotten off everything and just focused on his health and fitness he just ran his first marathon, uh, I think two or three weeks ago. So bro, shout out to you for absolutely crushing it there. But something that kept coming up for me, uh, sorry for him, was that now since not using substance, he's felt empty, like almost like there's a lack of purpose to some degree. Um, but this is something that I experienced too. And I'm only able to share my experience with this as to what that might be and what has helped me to sort of overcome that. And I know that everyone's experience and everyone's journey and everyone's um, life is different, but hopefully you guys can take some value from this if this is something you're struggling with. So this is really about the fact of you know getting off substance, getting away from drugs um, and alcohol, and then feeling lost, feeling empty, feeling like I guess like there's a part of you that doesn't want to be here anymore, um, which is something I experienced as well. And for me personally, this was because prior to using drugs, I had no idea who I was. I wasn't very sure of myself. And so I turned to drugs because I didn't find my place in the community until I used drugs. And this is my way of fitting in was finding the people that took the most drugs and did the, the craziest shit and going and doing those things with them. And I didn't actually know who I was without, um, without the drugs. So this is the, the part where I struggled for a long time. I felt really lost and I felt like I was really... Um, lonely um, and alone without the drugs because, well, this is how I found the people that I wanted to connect with. This is how I started to attract people into my life was by having drugs and by drinking all the time and by doing that sort of stuff. But this is the thing. With getting off substance for me, it was a massive eye-opener as to all the work that I really had to do on myself because as you know, when you drink and when you take drugs, you feel incredible like you do. Like it literally gives you this false, false sense of security, this false sense of everyone's all right, everyone's your mate, this false sense of confidence, all these things, which are things I always struggled with from a young age. So no wonder I got addicted to the substance because it made me feel fucking good. But it was temporary. It was synthetic. And it was fleeting just like the substance, okay? And the feelings once the substance was gone. So the confidence I had, the surety I have myself, the um, person I was when I was taking drugs and drinking piss, that wasn't who I really was. That was just the facade or the pretend self that I was trying to project to the world because I had no thoughts or feelings around what other people might think of me. And this got me into trouble a lot of the time as well. I'd go and say things that aren't really in alignment with who I am. I would go and do things that aren't really in alignment with who I am just to try and impress people, just to try and, you know, be the center of attention or try and, you know, make people like me. And that's no way to live because I wasn't living for myself and that's what this is all about. So um, this is the thing that I really noticed when I got off the drugs was that I didn't have anything to numb the head noise. I didn't have anything that was blocking out the things that I didn't like about myself any longer. And it was a really dark time for me. Um, it was actually, I don't know why, I actually have like tears almost welling up now, but it was a really dark time for me in my life where I had no idea who I actually was and I didn't have purpose and 
I'd just become a father and I felt like a failure. And this was really the rock bottom for me. This was something that I really struggled with. And so for a long time, I went back to the pattern of, okay, I'm just going to take drugs. I'm going to get on the bag. When I didn't have my son, I'd, you know, every weekend I'd be getting on the bag. I'd be drinking. And it was just that back and forth. And then I'd feel like shit during the week. And I was like feeling lost. And I was feeling like, but the thing is, I wasn't feeling lost, lost like so much as I was when I stopped drinking and stopped taking drugs. Because when I stopped taking drugs and stopped drinking, it really highlighted to me that I really had no idea who I actually was at my core. And it's only through doing the work step by step to figure out exactly who I am and the things that I like and actually really getting to know me by spending time alone with myself and facing all the dark things that come up for me. Facing all the uh, you know, the shadow side that was there, like the the thoughts of not being good enough and the thoughts of never being enough and the thoughts of, you know, not being able to be successful and all these stories I kept telling myself, which weren't even really my stories, they came from my parents, they came from my childhood, they came from people around me when I was growing up in a pretty pretty shitty environment after I left home. These these are all the things that start to come up. And this is probably why when you do stop taking drugs and stop drinking, you feel a little bit lost because well, number one, as I said in previous podcasts as well around substance, you've got all these people you surround yourself with and they're the people that you surround yourself with when you're taking drugs and when you're drinking. But when you're not on substance, these people probably don't resonate as well with you and you probably find that you start to slip away from those people and this is when you start to feel very lonely. So you're feeling very lost because it's like almost like no one likes you. But it's just that you're changing your focus and you're changing your environment so the people around you are also changing because remember, people are part of the environment. The people around you are part of your environment. So when you start to change that, the people around you start to change and then it feels a little bit scary or a little bit uncomfortable because this is something new. If you've always been someone that's been taking drugs prior to this, this is the new comfort zone we're trying to get into because that's why it feels very uncomfortable at the moment because even though you're not happy where you're at, you're comfortable taking drugs. You've done it for so long. It's who you were to a certain degree, right? Um, It's that synthetic feeling of good and then you get all this these real emotions start to pop in because you're not masking them or not numbing them with substance anymore and it just becomes a really scary world. This is what personal development is all about. It's about leaning into the uncomfortable shit and realizing that you are enough without all the substance, without the drugs, without the money, without the gambling, without the alcohol, whatever it, whatever it might be that you're using at the moment as a vice to make you feel good. This is what personal development is all about. It's about going deep within and working through the shadow side to find the light because there is a light within every single one of us and this is a journey that I'm consistently on and this is the thing you need to know about personal development. (laughs) It's not a destination. It's a journey, yeah? Growing through life is something you will continue to do until the day you die and that is as long as you can adopt the mindset of a student and stay ready to actually learn. Being open to the fact that our journey never ends if we don't allow it to. So with the whole feeling lost because of substance or being off substance, it's because you're trying to reinvent yourself and right now you don't know who you truly are. And this is a big part of what I do with my coaching as well is helping people to find their purpose, helping people to start to understand who they truly are at their core, helping people to find the happiness without the drugs, without the alcohol, without all the other things I was saying that they use as vices. This is a big part of what personal development is all about. And I'm not trying to pitch my product here at all, but like, I mean, if you want to hit me up, by all means. But no, this is the thing. If you feel lost right now, it's because you're doing the right thing. If you're feeling uncomfortable right now, it's because you're doing the right thing, yeah? It, this is obviously if you've gotten off the drugs and, uh, and the alcohol. If you're feeling lost with the drugs and the alcohol, then there's some real work that needs to be done there because these generally make us feel good and that's why we take them, right? We don't know how to feel good without them. But... If you're feeling lost right now after you've made some big life changes, this is all part of the growing um, process. Yeah, It's like going to school on the first day. You go to school and you've got no idea where anything is. You've got no idea who any of these people are. But after a few weeks, you start to get comfortable and you get, start to get familiar with these things. So this is exactly the same as navigating the world sober or navigating the world without substance every weekend or navigating the world without substance every day. It becomes comfortable when we do more of it. Uh, and you'll start to realize that you do find your place in the world. But the thing is, if you're focusing on the things you do not have and you're focusing on the negative things in your life, this is what will happen is you will see more of those things. So you need to change your focus also. So after getting off the substance, 
what are like some things you're grateful for? What are some positives that you know in your life? I mean, fuck, let's just start with basic stuff like the use of your legs, uh, the use of your hands and your arms, being able to breathe, waking up to this beautiful world that we live in. And once again, if you think the world is not beautiful, you're looking in the wrong places because you're focusing on the wrong things. So if you're feeling lost right now in your life after becoming, I guess, someone that didn't use or doesn't use substance any longer, that's okay. That's fine. You need to reinvent yourself. And this is all part of the process of growing and obviously doing the work. Um, so Bryn, I hope that's helped, bro. That's where I'm at with it. That's what I felt when I was, I guess, getting off substance. I felt very lost. I felt very alone. I didn't know who I was. And it was only through the journey of doing this now, just doing the work to actually, I guess, start to recognize who I am and working through insecurities, dealing with my triggers and my traumas and my wounds, dealing with, uh, you know, and this is the thing, being through relationships that didn't work out for me because of the things that I was doing going through relationships that didn't work out for me because of the things other people were doing. It's all part of the learning process. And like I said, when you can adopt the mindset of a student, there is no negative experience. There's only lessons in life. And every time that you have one of these lessons, you start to unlock a little bit of that piece of you that is lost. You start to bring that little piece of your soul back. This is if you learn from the lesson, of course. If you continue to make the, I guess, if you continue to make the mistakes, then it's no longer a lesson. It's just something that you keep doing that fucks up, right? So every time you learn that lesson and move forward in life, it's like you're getting a step up on the rut of the ladder and you're going further and further and further and further up the chain until you, I guess, you know, move into your, your highest purpose, your highest values and your highest being. And this is, uh, once again, I think a lifelong process because we never, stopped evol- we never stop evolving, we never stop adapting and we never stop growing. We never stop growing through life unless we take off that hat of the student and think that we know everything. So uh, I hope that's given you guys some value today because I know for me personally, this is something I struggle with for such a long time. So I, I connect with it highly. And I know there's a lot of people out there that will as well. So thank you, Bryn, for bringing that one up, Bruzzy. I really appreciate you, man. And I'm fucking proud of you, brother. You are crushing it at the moment. Just keep going. There's going to be those times where things are uncomfortable, man. But remember, there are so many people around you that care about you. And this is your journey. So make of it whatever you want. Don't have expectations of yourself. Don't let the expectations of others bring you down either because this is your journey, bro. You write the story. You are the author of this book. And that goes for anyone else out there that's struggling with this. If you're feeling lost after getting off substance and you're feeling uncomfortable, good. It's time to reinvent yourself and this is the perfect opportunity to do so. Today is the best day. So start now. I'll see you on the next episode, guys.